guys, you would never believe it if somebody told you that Cora Obidi and Justin will be separated. You, you will never believe it. Because the way they portray their relationship on social media, like you may think that they don't even have issues. Like they don't even quarrel behind closed doors. So this is an example. This should have set an example to each and every one of us when we are looking up to people like this, influencers like this, you know? <clears throat> At times, they don't come out to say the negative side, like what they are going through on the, um, after, after, the, like, after the show off on the internet. They don't come out to let the people know that this is what we are encountering. And it is unfortunate uh, after Cora gave birth to Athena. Athena, yeah, I think I got it right. Hmm? And um, I think, I don't know whether it, 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 it took a week or maybe two weeks. Justin came out and made it clear to the public that he is going to divorce um, Cora Obidi. That is what he said. And this thing circulated. People were having an opinion, saying things they have no clue because already they themselves have not come out to let people know that this is what actually is going on. And so let's take some time and listen to what Justin said and the reason why he is calling for divorce. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So many of you know, well, I divorced Cora because we got into an argument and Cora says things to hurt me sometimes and she repeatedly told me that she regretted June ever being born and so um, June June right June is their firstborn right I asked her to stop saying that, and June was in my arms crying, and she repeatedly said it over and over again. Mm -hmm. I called my mother, who will testify this in court, that she would kept saying it over and over and again, and I said, you can't say this to June, so you understand what you're saying. June's crying. I attempted to... So according to him, it wasn't the first time she keep repeating something like that. That she regretted June is being born. That is what Justin is saying, right? Take June out of the room and I said, you can't be around your daughter if you're saying this type of stuff. And she came God. across the room. My mom's on the phone. We'll testify this in court. Mm -hmm. And ripped, violently ripped June out of my hands. And then and very close dislocated June's shoulder mm -hmm. the next that was when I posted online that I was divorcing my wife and I can't be treated this way anymore wow. when I went live and said say it again it was that that she regretted June being born hmm. so fast forward many of you to me, uh, previously, I was thinking that maybe Cora cheated on him, right? That is why he is calling for a divorce. But rather, because of her all chances about their own child, that she regretted that June is being born, according to Justin, right? Um, like I said, I don't want to jump into conclusion, but uh, there is always two sides of the story. You don't have to rush to conclude. So, let's continue. Um. Reached out to me, and I have talked to an attorney. I have talked to an attorney. Mm -hmm. I'm ask and I can't see my kids right now, and I'm wow. asking for public support, because I love my kids. <laughs> two days ago, many of you reached out to me and asked me to go get the kids, because Cora was because she was being negligent when when there when she was inside the sink um, there's a garbage disposal in that sink within reach of June's foot so she was putting her foot in the sink 
and there was a garbage disposal, and she could have easily mangled her foot. And then Athena was head was drooping, and she was like, like, getting Whoa. her airway choked off. And I communicated this, and she ignored me. I called her, and she mm -hmm. hung up on me. So, at legal counsel, I went and got my kids for the last two days to protect her because many of you were reaching out to me and saying that they were going to call child services, which would not be the first time child services was called for negligence. So, I went and got my kids and explained to her why I was taking control of the kids. I was not withholding her, and I had no intention of keeping the kids from her. Today I had to work, because we haven't found a nanny yet, and I asked her to watch the kids for a little bit, and she agreed, and I said, I will be taking the kids back to my, my house, and when I got there, her friends handed me a pile of papers, and the police were there, well, it showed up later. She falsely filed. So I can't see my kids for, it, it looks like a month because, because she's trying to hurt me. I love my kids and my life. And, um, Men don't cry, but I am. Just for my kids. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm divorcing Cora, because she used the kids to hurt me, and I thought that was wrong. And I didn't want Athena to go through the same things that June's endured the last few years. So the major problem here is that, according to Justin, um, Cora used the kids to hurt him. That is what... Is explaining to the public right now so like I said there's more to the story than what people are saying out there you know like some people have to wait till this matter get to the uh, to the shore so that everybody can now pick side you know like I said you can have an opinion but you can't conclude because uh, behind the scene you may not know what is happening this is what some of us don't get it you see not everything that you see on social media, the way they portray themselves on the internet is happening in real life. No, it doesn't work like that. So don't look at those uh, influences and compare that to your relationship. You can learn the good side from them and apply it to your relationship. But don't think everything works 100% like the way you see it. So it is an advice to each and every one of us on the social media. You know, as long as you have phone, you will definitely go on social media to watch all these influences. And if you don't take care, you may end up copying wrong side of them. You understand? Okay, so let's continue. So now with this, I'm going to, I was going to split custody with Cora. And now I'm taking full custody. I'm going to fight her. This is very sad. Uh, everything I'm saying here is true. I'm saying no false lies. This is why I divorced Cora, because she hurt you. I didn't cheat on To me, like I said previously, I was thinking that maybe Cora cheated. That is what I was thinking. I think uh, Cora cheated. That is the main reason why he is divorcing her. But it's rather because of the children, according to him. Okay. Well, so I hope you are clear with the reason why Justin is divorcing Cora. Right? If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. And expect stuff like this from me. My name is Samuel. Keep it locked. Peace out.